Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer Review of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We are Cimarron and Logan dealers, so those are the two brands that we carry that are new with full warranties. If you guys want any used trailers, we do lots of buy bids and trades for anything from small little bumper poles to big LQs. Got a lot of inventory here on the lot as well as a lot of trailers that are on order. So if you're looking for something a little different than the one behind me, give us a call and we can always see if we have what you're looking for. So what I've got here today is a Cimarron Northstar two horse bumper pole and this is our warm blood edition. So when I say warm blood trailer, I mean those trailers for those big and tall horses, the ones that really don't fit that well on a slant load. We've done a couple things to really accommodate the size of those horses. So the first thing we did is we made this trailer 7'7 seven, seven tall. Standard warm blood height is 7'6, but Cimarron is a little bit taller than standard in every aspect. So 7'7 seven, seven is going to be your standard for warm blood height. If you've got some really big monsters that you feel like you need a little bit more space than that, we go up every three inch increments. So we can do 7.10, 8.1, so on and so forth. However, if you're looking for a little bumper pole to pull behind, small SUV, little truck, have a, have a run around option. Maybe you've got some big horses, a big operation, and you don't want to have to haul a big head to head to the vet just because one horse needs to go and get something done. So having a run around that is of proper size to fit those big horses is a really great option. Now, since we're straight loading these horses, we don't necessarily have to go extra wide. So we can pick up extra length in the stall area itself to accommodate those longer bodies on those horses. So we can go with a standard 610 wide. It's gonna pull really nicely behind your tow vehicle. You'll still be able to have plenty of visibility around it and it doesn't catch quite as much wind. So this is a really, really great option. I've had a lot of people buy these trailers for kids going off to college. You know, they've got something small and manageable to tow around. Somebody that's just got one to two horses that just wants to be able to take their horses to shows or to the trails by themselves. Maybe they don't want to go for a, a dually pickup. So this is a really great option for that. Let's go ahead and explore some of the features that we've done on this one, but I think it makes it the best on the market. So. These little North Star two horse bumper pool warm bloods have evolved a lot since I started working here four years ago. The main reason that we change these trailers up is because the customers give us feedback that improves the design of the trailer. And that is one of the things that I truly love about Cimarron trailers is they are custom built trailers. So we ordered this one for inventory, but that just means that we gotta make the choices on it. If you guys want a completely custom built trailer, every Cimarron can be modified to fit your needs. So as long as the engineers agree with it and Cimarron's game to do it, do it, we've come up with some really cool things with customers. One of the things that has changed recently is this diamond plate on the front. So we've actually started running this a lot higher up. We find that a lot of the road, road blast rocks chips happens right on this front sheet here. And if we can pre protect that a little bit better with this diamond plate, it's not that much it, more expensive to run it a little bit higher than these white than having mostly white sheets here so this is something that you're going to see on a lot of our trailers going forward is this higher diamond plate up above we've got the three foot tongue length here something that you'll see on cimarron's is that they pull really nicely behind you get a little bit more clearance having that longer tongue is a really nice option if you want to get it a little farther away from your tow vehicle and not have to worry about getting into the into the uh, truck or SUV quite as much. If you are pulling this behind a motorhome, we have an option to extend this tongue by an additional six inches. So that's something that we see on a lot of our big four horse bumper poles, uh, five horse bumper poles. You know, it's it just gives you that flexibility that you need. On this particular one, we've got a crank jack here. These trailers are not not that heavy to put up and off of, on and off your truck. However, if you just really don't see yourself cranking. This is a really easy assembly to switch out to in a little, a little electric one. If you do an electric one, you can always do an onboard battery that runs your lights. So it ta we tap it into the 12 volts 
and you can run your lights if you're parked and using your trailer more as a tack room especially as the days are getting a little bit shorter it's really nice to be able to have that option to have lights on your trailer i personally use my trailer as my tack room i've got a little simmer on at home and you know it's a really nice thing to be able to just flip on the lights not have to pull your vehicle all the way over um, and have that option so that is something we can do here at our shop if that's a modification you want to make another thing you've noticed is we usually used to have a window right on this side here and we still do that on a lot of our little bumper pull warm bloods but we find that this is a, a same reason that we've got this diamond plate running higher is sometimes it's a little more likely to have a rock chip fly up on the driver's side there so we don't hear a lot about it but why take the risk there we've got plenty of light and you'll see we've got a cool little window in here as well um, inside the tack room that that people like so you're going to get plenty of plenty of natural light in this tack room this trailer's 15 9 feet on the floor so that's from the very front of the nose here all the way to the rear really manageable size to pull around uh, i had a cimarron warm blood for a while and i loved towing it i had a smaller vehicle and i could barely feel it behind me even though it was extra tall i now have a cimarron slant load that's still extra tall same thing it pulls amazing but this tag room is a real good size for one of these straight loads here so as you know when we when we straight load these horses a lot of times if we don't make this tack room a little bit smaller you're going to have a, a lot of length to pull behind you but i think the layout on this one is really great you've got the fold up step there that you can just walk right in um, we do it off the front door here so that you get a nice big entrance and lots of wall space here for hanging so tons of bridle hooks anywhere we've got those bridle hooks we carpet them behind and that's just so that if your bits swing back and forth, they're not leaving those nasty little marks on these white aluminum sheets there. It's quieter for your horses on the other side. This is something that everybody loves on these little warm blood two horse bumper poles. Um, these windows have been so popular. Since we're straight loading these horses, we don't really have to worry about um, them messing with the windows there. So being able to peek in and look at your horses is just a really cool little option. And then as we work our way over here, we've got a recess post with two saddle racks and two blanket bars. And what's really cool is these are completely adjustable. So if you wanted to take these out, you're just using show boxes, tack trunks, you don't need these. You can go store them in your barn and then if you ever go to sell this trailer, you've got it for the next customer. But a lot of people can run these a little bit higher. Most of the people that use these straight loads are actually riding English and, you know, as opposed to uh, hucking a big western saddle up high English saddles easy to move up and down so you can run these a lot higher closer together still get plenty of storage space you just need a little re adjustable wrench and you can loosen these top and bottom bolts and slide these up and down along that post really simple to use on the floor here we've started doing either rubber mats or that gray rubber tread flooring on almost all of our trailers it's just so much easier to clean that is one of the things that I did not love about my first Cimarron is it did have the carpeted floor. And having this floor is so nice if you live somewhere where you're walking in and out of uh, muddy paddocks. Or in my case, I always struggled with the goat heads at my house and I just hated bringing those onto the carpet. This is so easy to clean. Uh, it makes it really nice feature for somebody if you ever go turn around and sell it. You know, it's not gonna hold on to as many odors as carpet will and it's going to look a lot nicer for years and years to come. On this wall here you do have your spare tire. It's a 15 inch load range E uh, Goodyear and they come standard with aluminum wheels, standard nitrogen filled, and they come with a really great warranty. So your Cimarron itself has an eight year structural three year hitch to bumper for all the Cimarron components uh, offered by Cimarron. However, they have an additional warranty offered through Lion's Head on their wheels and tires so that's one year no questions asked so even if it's your fault you're learning to drive a trailer still um, this is a really good option to buy because if you curb check check blow a tire you know hit road debris blow tires they're gonna repair or replace um, those wheels and tires no questions asked for one year really simple to deal with um, i love the warranty departments at both cimarron and lion's head they're they really stand behind those products 
So having, having that warranty is just really nice little additional option uh, that, that you have on these Cimarron's. The nitrogen filled is really nice because especially on colder days like today where it starts out really cool in the morning and then it warms up, you know, it might get to, to the high 80s. Uh, it's nice to have the nitrogen filled tires. They do not expand and contract quite as much as regular air does. So if you can have a more stable PSI to begin with and you don't have to worry about a cold tire starting out maybe lower PSI, warming up and that PSI raises, that's when you face a lot of issues with potential bl blowout. So having nitrogen is a really nice option. People always worry, well, what if I have a low tire and I can't find a place that'll put nitrogen? It's no big deal. You can always put regular air in it. You're just not gonna gain the same benefits from that nitrogen in that tire now. So you just have to know that it's not gonna um, to maintain that stable PSI like it did with the nitrogen. But always an option, always a nice option. Um, this tack room, really light and bright. We've got a big Optibrite light right over the door there. These Optibrite lights have become standard on the Cimarron's. They were, they had nice LED lights previously, but at TransWest, we've almost always upgraded to these big, beautiful Optibrite lights. Throw off so much more light, especially when they hit these white sheets here. Uh, so if you are using this at night, this is gonna be like daylight. I have a lot of customers that tell me that their Cimarron's put off so much light that their friends will actually choose to park near them because they can use some of Cimarron's light that it puts out for their own tacking and untacking of horses. So really, really cool option there. In this door here, I do have a nice little brush box. This is awesome, this brush box. You can also do a tack door organizer. Can't do both, we don't have enough room here. But the brush box is really awesome. You can throw your fly sprays, your shampoos, your brushes, your hoof picks, all in this little door. You don't have to climb in and out and in and out of your trailer to get those horses tacked up. Uh, it's got drain holes in it, so if you ever just need to hose it out, uh, really easy to clean. In this door here, we do have these feed bags, so if you do not want to use hay bags, we've got the option already included to have those uh, rectangular feed bags in front of those horses, which is a really nice little, little feature there. As we work our way around, one of the things that we do on our warm blood uh, Cimarron bumper poles here is we do two escape doors. You can always option them without if you want, but being able to walk a horse on and come out this escape door is a really nice option. Or if you have to feed and water, you know, you can actually step in here and, and throw feed and, and water without having to worry about getting it through your big drop down windows there. We did drops on each head side uh, with jail bars. So if you want to run with those down, you get a lot of airflow moving through here. This trailer has a rear ramp with Dutch doors over. So you can see these wraparound Dutch back here. If you're straight loading these horses and not using this as a box stall, this is a game changer in that heat. Cimarron comes standard with an insulated fiber tech roof to begin with. So you're already starting out a lot cooler than a lot of trailers. I can hop in a Cimarron on a 100 degree day and I can be comfortable in there with, with minimal ventilation. Obviously, horses put off a lot more heat than, than humans do. So being able to get a lot of air moving through, you know, having that insulated roof is gonna keep those horses nice and cool. A lot of customers will option it with additional stall fans. And those are really nice if you're somewhere where you don't necessarily have uh, air moving through, if you're stopped at a parking lot or stopped in traffic, a fan can be a really good option to keep some air circulating through there. We work our way over here. You've got these bolt-on fenders. One of the ways that Cimarron tries to keep costs lower for customers is uh, by having things that are easier to replace. Tires are a big thing that blow out and they will rip off your whole fender if, if you're unlucky there. But by having a clean, sleek bolt-on fender uh, instead of a welded on, makes it really easy. They can ship you a fender minimal labor to re to put this back on. Um, maybe if, if you got really unlucky, they might take out some lights there, but it's really easy for a tech to, to rerun those lights. And that's gonna really reduce your costs in something that is already an unfortunate incident. If you have a horse that maybe you've got tied here that wants to run their teeth up and down this, and after a time, 
you just don't want to look at it anymore it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to replace that as we work our way around here you're also going to notice that all these all these hinges here are grease cert hinges um, so on your doors on this ramp here makes it really easy to maintain over the long run so get yourself a grease gun we use that white lithium grease and i'll on my summer and i do mine a couple times a year i'll go through and grease all my zerts keeps everything well lubricated so that you don't have to worry about things seizing up over time uh, they try and make sure that these trailers are really easy to maintain and if they can make it a feature that they can maintain it for the long run it's going to improve the longevity of your trailer the resale value and i think it just makes it a really great product you've got your four standard brake brake and marker lights here back here but these white ones are actually backup lights so we've been adding those on almost all of our inventory units they're not expensive and it is so nice to be able to park your trailer at night without having to run to the back to flip on your eight inch rear load light so this is gonna when you throw your truck in reverse these are gonna be light light up nice and bright really light the back of your trailer area so you can see where you're going at night this rear ramp here um, if it's folded up it's got a nice good height to it um, if you are running this as a box stall setup i would recommend keeping those curtain windows closed obviously they've got big windows on them with with some jail bars so you can still get a lot of airflow moving from the front to the back of the trailer this rear ramp has some nice good texture to it it's rubberized so if you're walking your horses up and down it especially in less than ideal conditions it's going to give them a lot of good grip and traction the butt bars on these ones and the chest bars are all padded uh, so if you've got a horse that likes to chew on these they're easy to replace we can always get you more padding but on these these rear ones really simple to take on and off you don't have to fuss with a pin or anything like that these just drop right down now on the front ones we have what i like to call our child safety locks here and these are just little pieces of high quality plastic that you can flip up with your hand here and then what i like to do is just give them a nice little pop open makes it really simple but if you've got a mare or a gelding that likes to play with things this is going to prevent them from releasing themselves and try and get themselves crammed up front here this head divider is a breakover so if you did want to run with it this way if you've got one horse on and you've got the stall divider in the middle there you can clip this over to the side and give them some more room to swing their heads from side to side and you'll notice that on all of these ar latches all of these these um this hardware here anywhere you have the ability to have a metal to metal contact you're going to have some sort of plastic buffer and that's going to help reduce a lot of the noise that you get as you travel these trailers experience a ton of vibration as they travel up and down the road so by having the ability to mute some of that noise make it a little bit quieter for these horses they're going to be so much happier and the less vibration that you have and the less metal on metal contact the longer things are going to last so Cimarron does a really great job of making sure these trailers are nice and quiet for these horses but also improving the longevity of all the parts and hardware the Cimarron roof is standard insulated roof we love this roof we had a big old hailstorm come through a couple months ago and our Cimarrons did amazingly well through it um, most of them unless they got hit on some of the side sheets which they've got a nice thick 050 aluminum side sheet so it really depended on how hard the hail came in these roofs you didn't even have to worry about uh, they are a honeycomb core they're uh, really strong and thick single pour so you don't have to worry about delamination or anything like that got a nice big gel coat finish with a good roof sealant on them um, and they are strong enough that i could walk up and down this roof without having to walk on these roof bows a lot of people see these cimarrons and they're like man that's a long way between the roof bows they don't really need it the roof of this the structure of this roof is incredibly strong when they install these roofs they're one big single piece and you can just walk up and down them three men can jump up and down on these roofs without having any issues so hail was not a match for that it keeps it a lot quieter and that r3 thermal value actually keeps it 
um, cooler in here as well. So really great options for those. I'm going to go ahead and last one of these I moved, I forgot to undo this chest bar here up front. So we're going to make it look a little bit easier today by doing this ahead of time. If you wanted to make this a box stall, very, very simple. This was actually another customer inspired feature. So we have our two plus ones that we absolutely adore where we've got this traveling divider that makes a box stall in like 30 seconds. And I had a customer that was taking his kid to school shoot. This was gonna be her trailer to uh, go across country in and they wanted to be able to make a box stall but he was concerned about what they were gonna do with that divider during travel. Um, there was no room to store it and it was too heavy for her to put in and out by herself. So they were like, can we put this divider in one of our little bumper poles so we can make a box stall really easy? And we're like, yeah, why not? So we thought it was such a good idea that we started ordering it on these little two horse warm bloods. Really simple to operate. You've got five points of connection on these ones. On our two plus ones, we can make them one solid rectangle because we've got the length in the stalls. We don't have to worry about getting by these, but having the ability to break this over is still a really nice option on these smaller ones where we don't have all the space in front to feed and water. So we've got this little divider here that helps you keep that head divider from swinging over and just having a struggle here. You've got all of these AR latches, which you just break over. They kind of J out, so it's really easy to pull them down and push them over. And what I like to do is I like to kind of get centered on this when I walk it over. Just like that, it's broken free here. And then you just get kind of center, walk it over to your next location. On this one, it's really simple. You've got one location to go to. And then I just do exactly what I did from the center. Lock these all into place. Just like that, you've got a box stall. If you want to, you can take off these chest and butt bars here. They're just a pin that pulls straight up and out. So easy to take in and out. Um, you've got plastic buffers on these as well. So once again, makes it a lot easier to operate and keeps it quieter for those horses. These can store easily in your tack room. Big bus windows you can slide open as you're traveling and these all have jail bars on them. So you don't have to worry about um, your goofy thoroughbred sticking their head out of these windows here. So we work our way over to this side. See, we've got the eight inch awning lights on this side as well. Light up this area if you're tying a horse. We've got two tie locations on each side. These are good size drop down windows here with jail bars. It makes it nice and safe, but it also makes it so that if you wanna travel down the road with these down, they're not, <laughs> flimsy dividers that have piano hinges that are going to seize up. They've got those greasered hinges as well, and they've got quite a bit of structure and strength to them. Butterfly latches on these escape doors. Anytime we give horses access to the outside world, we want to make sure that we've got um, a nice secure way to keep them in. So if you are planning on using the, these escape doors to walk horses in, I always recommend making sure you've got that uh, butterfly latch undone ahead of time. <clears throat> right here, we've got our VIN plate, but as well, we've got this little QR code. Cimarron has gone to a uh, virtual user's manual, which is a an amazing option. Everybody's got smartphones these days where they can just scan those barcodes. If you ever need a, a paper manual, use owner's manual, we can always get you one. But this just makes it so that you don't have more clutter in your tack room. And if you've got a quick question that you need answered, you just scan that little barcode and you are good to go. So as we work our way back around the front here, I'm gonna point out the stock number on this trailer. If you wanna find this trailer on our website, you can just go to transwest.com. Uh, the stock number is 5N230726. Once again, it is a 2024 Cimarron North Star Two Horse Bumper Pull cool little trailer we keep making this one cooler and cooler so um, if you guys have any questions on this trailer or any of the other trailers here on our lot please reach out to us my 
phone number is the easiest way to get a hold of me. My name is Callie Say. You can reach me at 970-309-6368. You can call or text at that number if you guys have any questions. Um, this trailer has so many features. I actually forgot one of the coolest ones while I was in that stall area. I got too excited about that traveling gate. So before we go here, I just want to point out one of the other things that we did on this trailer is we did worm flooring. Worm flooring is a really cool option, especially if you have a moving divider. We do this on all of our side loads. Uh, we do it on all our head-to-heads and we've started doing it on these ones with these traveling dividers. It just makes it so easy. It's a permanent floor that is troweled in here. It's got good grip and texture to it. Um, and it doesn't drain so it completely protects the floor of your trailer for the longevity of the trailer as long as you don't have a horse that that breaches this this layer here if you do have a horse that likes to paw they can send you a patch kit um, get you fixed up but this protects your trailer floor so on cimarron's you've got a nice heavy duty extruded aluminum floor with four inch centers and a v-truss every other strongest floor on the market we want to protect that floor so worm flooring is by far the best option. These come in many different colors. Black is standard and it's what we do on most of our inventory, unless we're dressing it up for stock show or something. Um, but all you have to do is, I still throw shavings in here just to absorb any urine that the horse is great, just because it doesn't drain through. And then when you're done, you just scoop your, scoop your solids out and you can power wash this out. Easy to maintain and a really good investment for your trailer. So, if you guys are really interested in this trailer, this one's got just about everything you could possibly need. So once again, thanks for tuning in today. I hope everybody has a great Friday. If you guys have any questions on this one, give me a call. Thank you.